California man who allegedly shot and killed six-year-old got into another road rage incident the next week, D.A. Marcus Anthony is allegedly shot and killed six-year-old Aiden Leos during a road rage incident. Just days after Marcus Anthony is allegedly shot and killed a six-year-old boy in a road rage incident on a California freeway, he pulled a gun on a different driver during another altercation, a prosecutor said Wednesday in a court filing ahead of Friday's arraignment. Eras, 24, was arrested on June 6 along with his girlfriend, 23-year-old Win Lee, who was allegedly driving their car during both road rage incidents. The first altercation happened on the morning of May 21 as Joanna Clunan was driving her six-year-old son, Aiden Leos, to kindergarten. Eras and Lee allegedly cut Clunan off on the freeway, then after a few miles, Clunan caught up with the couple and gave them the middle finger. After that, Clunan said she heard a loud bang, followed by her son saying, ow, at which point she realized he was bleeding from his chest. Aiden Leos was pronounced dead at a local hospital less than an hour later. Orange County Deputy District Attorney Whitney Bokoski wrote that after being arrested on June 6, Eras admitted to investigators that he was angry after being flipped off by Miss Clunan, so he grabbed his loaded Glock 17 9mm and racked around. He then rolled the passenger window and took a shot at her vehicle, Bokoski wrote Wednesday. After shooting the victim, Eras and Lee, continued on to the 91 eastbound and on to work in the city of Highland. The next week, Eras and Lee allegedly got into another road rage incident on the freeway. As when Lee was driving on the 91 eastbound on the way to work with defendant Eras as her front passenger, a driver in a blue Tesla did something to make defendant Eras angry, acting aggressively, the prosecutor wrote. Defendant Eras again took out his gun and brandished it to the driver of the Tesla. The Tesla driver in that incident then called the cops and drove away. It wasn't until a week after Eras allegedly killed Aiden Leos that he realized exactly what he had done, according to the prosecutor. Eras told investigators that on May 28, a co-worker approached him and said that Lee's car, a Volkswagen Golf Sport wagon, looked like the one authorities were searching for. Eras claims that at that time, he looked on the internet and saw the story about Aiden Leo's death, prosecutors wrote. He said he immediately knew he was responsible for the boy's death. At that point, Eras allegedly hid Lee's car in a family member's garage and starting driving his red truck instead. Both defendants are scheduled to appear in court Friday for an arraignment and bail review. Eras, who is facing charges of murder and shooting at an occupied motor vehicle is currently being held on a provisional bond of $2 million, but Pococci argued in Wednesday's filing that bail should be revoked. Eras is an extreme danger to the community, Bokoski wrote. There is no more serious crime than murder and murder of a child is one of the most egregious crimes one can think of. Bokoski also referenced Eras's alleged public Instagram profile, which shows him firing multiple guns, including a rifle shotgun, and handgun. Lee, who is facing charges of accessory after the fact and carrying a concealed firearm in a vehicle, had her bail provisionally set at $500,000. Bokoski requested that her permanent bail be set on Friday. Attorneys for Eras and Lee did not immediately respond to a request for comment Thursday.